guys, Dead Walters here. I'm going to answer a question from a YouTube subscriber, uh, Bree Carbon, on how the shaft position should be at a dress. Um, it's fairly simple to be fair in terms of how we want to have the golf club shaft at a dress. You know, if we looked at the club itself, if I just held the head, I've got my 7 iron here, so if I held the head of my 7 iron, we can see how the shaft angle is slightly forward. So it's that shaft angle that we want to try and create as we get into our address position break. So if I was to take setup position here and I was to get my setup from this angle so you guys can see face on, from here at that position there we've got the shaft leading slightly forward just in its natural point. If I was just to rest the butt end of the grip on my hand, on my finger there, you can just see how it's in its natural position. It's not here it's not there, it's not too far forward as it's in there. You can see the change in the, the loft and the club face position at that point there. So we just want to get it in its natural position. From that point there, when you look down at it, the, you, your hands itself, the joint of the hands here will look like they are almost right on top of the central point or a tiny bit towards the forward point of the golf ball. So that would be your reference. You would take your setup position. If your hands are looking like they're on top of the face or in front of the golf ball, then we're in the wrong positions. We want to look down and see almost the hands directly on top of the golf ball from that point. Now, that's with a seven iron. So if I was to change club and I pulled out my most lofted club, 58 degrees, and I held there, we can see the difference now in how the shaft is further forward because of the loft. So I would then take my setup position for my 58 degree if I was making a full swing. And that would be shaft angle and hand position again. You know, the hands this time are on the very front portion of the golf ball. We look at it there, the shaft angle points in exactly the same position. You know, we'll find a lot of people will try and get, sort of, if you're going with a, a ball position which is further back in the stance, then your shaft is going to be a little bit further forward. But for a general rule of thumb, for a standard ball position, for your, you know, the club to find the lowest point of your swing, then we'd have the hands in a very, very similar spot. So the hands would be on the, almost with this amount of loft, the very front portion of the golf ball. Now, that's going into the more lofted clubs, but what about when we go into the lower lofted clubs? So we've got three iron. So if we look at the three iron, if I just held it up there, there's very little shaft lean. There's a little bit, but there's nothing in terms of the comparison to the other two. So again, when we look at it from there, the shaft leans and the hands are on top of the golf ball again. Ever so slight shaft lean there. Now, when it comes into woods, we would see something slightly different. Because if we look at the wood, if I hold the club there, we see this, the shaft comes directly out of the head. It doesn't go forward, it comes directly up out of the head. So from that point of view, we would take our setup position, I'm just gonna go there so I stay on the mat. So all position further forward. If we look at it now, the hands are directly on top of the leading edge of paint, the top edge of paint on the head. So we look at the, the hands are in that position, so they're fractionally behind the golf ball, and then we can get that nice launch of the lower loft. Now when it comes to the driver, again, if we hold the driver up there, we can see that it's pretty much straight up out the head, just like the fairway wood is. So, when we're looking then at our ball position from that perspective, we'd see the hands there are, again, right on top of the leading edge of paint on the top of the head and behind the golf ball. So if we can make sure that we get our shaft position there relative to how it, the club is designed almost, then we'll have the hands in a position where with the the woods will be able to hit upwards a little bit easier on the golf ball. So you guys will be able to launch the golf ball a lot better and control the flight a little bit more. And with the irons, we'll be able to get a little bit more of that downward impact, which is where that shaft lean for the loft is designed to come from. And then from that point of view, we won't be 
too negative on the loft so the ball flight won't be too low or leaning the hands too far back and then having too much dynamic loft so the ball flight just goes up in the air and we lose some distance. So hopefully that answers your question. Thanks for the question at Gamebury. Um, any other questions guys just post your comments in the box below. As always love to hear from you as well so anything you would like to say post your comments in the box. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have subscribed to the channel thank you. If not subscribe to the channel for more great content and I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. Thanks for watching.